at half HP though. And boom, looking for the opening. FBZ has the arena at his ready. So the BKB should be off cooldown for Aster. And there we go, FBZ. He's gonna get the spear off though. Is this enough to take out the faceless void? It is. The Sunder is not enough to keep him alive. But the Sunder is doing a shit ton of damage in the pit though. And Ori gets into the pit. He gets stunned though. He's gonna end up taking the Roche and the Aegis and the Shard. So despite losing the faceless void, Aster. We'll get the Aegis and a double spear into the arena. Holy Jesus. They find one and the Aegis. Ori, can he get out of this? He's going to get hexed immediately again from Yopage. Beautifully done from Boom. Obviously not the best case scenario considering the Roche went to Aster, but they clean up pretty nicely after the fact. I can understand all of the tipping from Boom. Anna still wanting to uh, get a couple more items up and online. Going to the Manta, afterwards Mjolnir, Sights. Keeping pace with the Pudge here is going to be really important. So I, I guess that's the thing to watch for for Fnatic, is that as well as that last fight went, they kind of need to keep Whoa. going with their ult. have to keep these plays. Uh, I mean, look at this. They're smoking with only 200 gold to blink on jabs. Yeah, they got to go for this. Oh, he missed Ryle. the last one. Has it here afterwards, but another lift away. Man, that was just the worst initiation. But Hook got him. <laughs> Easy save. <laughs> Jab's God. And that's He's actually the it. blink gold. So now they, they get the kill. Now they keep pressing forward while the courier brings in the blink. Anna still not committing to joining them right now. And they didn't use the lasso there either. So, I mean, they've got everything. Or Hawka still has the Radiant's time walk. They want to start something here, but it's still so hard to set up for really anything. Like, what? what is their, like, guaranteed start to a fight besides Curse? They have that blink soon, and there it is. Kaka gets they the have jump to. away. Golem is going to get dropped immediately after the Black Hole. Jab is trying to survive through with the spell like steel. He's healing up through it all. Someone hole. kill Look him. At heal. Look at the heal. It's too much. You can't stop it. Sabres, there's no escape. Somebody stop us from this. Look at this possibility. Yeah, the punch kills them all. Why? Why is this a thing? Radiance middle tower. Was even his where, where did Anna tower. even? Did she <laughs> die up top? Kane rune. Ame, he wants to jump in. They chased him down for a very long time, forcing him to use all remnants. Does have buyback if necessary. Still, two minutes left on Aegis. I want to see PSG LGD go for the high ground. Go for the high ground, get fissured, get blasted by Keeper of the Light, stop. <laughs> get Blink Echo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want to take this very, very slowly and deliberately. There's still a tier two bottom that they can claim. No need to irrationally shove up the high ground. You do have the Juggler Spin that can do a pretty good job here, but the lower sword bounces the Swift Slash back onto him. He'll look towards Tiger with a fuel there. Standing charge bouncing in. With the big one. Kills off set as well. And now the only slash the real one. Yoragi killed off. Buybacks galore from OG. Four of them returning to the battlefield. While Ame still has that Aegis. Seb is in towards nothing to say, but he gets eats the cheese off. and gets the BKB out as well. LGD are able to reset while Yoragi charges forward. Another Fisher out. Tusk stunned up with a bash too. So a couple of kills oh, from OG in the Max. Can he get out? The retreat no out for LGD successful. Oh, that, this is perfect for PSG LGD. Uh, getting uh, four buybacks out uh, and also losing only two supports who have buybacks one more time. Big, big damage from Juggernaut. Yeah. 7,000 almost. We like to round up the numbers, but uh, yeah, he went in, forced that Lotus Orb, used the Swift Slash, and then when the Lotus Orb was gone, goes in with the full Omni. And still has Aegis for a minute. Don't think they'll be able they to use it. He's ready to go. High ground push. The side device. The link has popped. The BZM. He's dead. Two minutes with no Emma Spirit now. Oh, Yoragi's here. Still 30 seconds left on Aegis. The rest of the team is trying to connect. He's just going to continue fighting this, though. Yoragi chases back Arme. The Missile Blade comes. Aegis, yes, is there to be reclaimed. Seb wanting Faith Bian, who TP'd into the back lines. His BKB gives him the safety, and the, the Fisher blocked away Yuragi, so no bashes could come. Also, Spin final out. legs were not ready. ATF. Lotus Orb on him. Scardy slows annoying. But Faith Bian is going to tell you to TP in around from high ground to low ground. Look at me, I'm over here, I'm over there, and ATF jumped upon by Arme. I have nothing to say. Well, Y does get the finishing blow on him. So two heroes dead for a minute and a half now, and OG in a 4v3. 
Yeah, no buyback uh, on Viper, does not have enough gold, and also Ember Spirit did buy back in the previous fight. Uh, Sage's Prophet did hit level 25, so you know that all lanes are gonna be pushed in. Also, this uh, Sight of Vice pickup, plus the Trickster's Cloak, so he can initiate from Invis, whether we we're talking about the Sprout, Gleipnir, or Sight of Vice, the Leech Mechanic, and the uh, OG. They do have Fisher one more time, just but don't, that's about it. Just don't forget about Blink Echo. That's the one thing that LGD have to have at the forefront of their minds. Ready. It's very difficult. He goes in with a blink dagger, snowball save, or just a casual four step. Ame wants to finish the game. Yeah, they want these tier fours. They know there's no Viper, no Ember. 30, 40 seconds on the sidelines for them. And he goes in with a quick swift slash and a spin. Oh, Yuragi, down you go. So quickly fall into this Juggernaut's right click damage. Still alive with his BKB and oh, Lance Ready to jump with Donny. Oh, yeah, Army. He comes in with a basher, clears up two more kills, and that's OG down and out. They will get the yours up as Sep cyclones himself, but there is no safety from this LGD side. Gary, did you just call it uh, Omni Slash? scanning building damage that's crazy they have no buybacks on og with this aegis and everything like they, they don't have any advantage coming to this yeah that's really scary they almost have double black hole 15 seconds <laughs> they gotta can watch. drop that if they need to yeah you gotta watch that leash of course oh yeah can't project into that i don't think five seconds till black hole and Taiga might just take a shot here if they need to. They, they sent Matthew way in the back. They shot him back there. They tried to jump to a tree to get to the back lines. And it's not going to work. Matthew goes down and he doesn't have buyback. I, that was a risky play. They, they felt like they had to find something crazy. And crazy it was. Still chasing. Hex is there. Four staff keeping him back. Taiga ready to go. Jumps in. He black holes them all. How do you find that? The refresher afterwards. Come on back. For round two, as Papa Tiger caught them all, they are gone. They do have buyback right now on this TA, but I don't know if that's going to matter as his whole team is gone. Into the fountain they go. Oh, gee, the story remains the same across two majors as they are going to take down Thunder Awaken in game one. Radiance middle oh, Thunder Awaken, this one hurts. There's no doubt about that. Excellent draft coming to the laning stage. They got that good pressure they wanted, but it, it wasn't quite that fast pace, that crisp 